Hey, before I even get in this video, check out. We're in the South Park. You don't know why? Because South Park is coming back. I just found that out, so I just wanted to share it somewhere. So I'm sharing it with you. I don't know who the hell watching this even watches South Park or even cares, but I just had to share it somewhere. And perfect time to do it that's totally off topic but anyways for this video i'm making a polo g type beat i'm gonna show you guys how to make the melodies the chords the drums even all polos all polo songs are like really fucking beautiful all right all the songs all his beats beautiful so i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that right now without further ado let's get started all right first things first i'm gonna set my bpm 170 just like the rod wave beat i did um the other day Actually, that was like five days ago. Next thing, I'm gonna grab a piano, of course. You know, you, you gotta get the piano to start out with, right? Maybe if you're making a beat for a little oozy or something, might not wanna use those classical instruments. I'm gonna have my uh, scale highlighting in E minor, I believe. Yeah, yeah, all right. So E minor is what I'm going with for my scale. I'm just gonna put some chords down and see what happens. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start out with a minor chord right here. And then I'm just gonna make my way and go down. And I'm thinking for this, I'm actually gonna put it right here. And then I'm gonna put this here, just to give it a little more bounce. All right, next thing, after I got these chords down right here, I'm just gonna, you know, highlight them, control down, and I'm gonna bring it down two octaves. So just to make it more filling, I don't know why I grabbed, did I do that on, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know why I grabbed those, but I'm just gonna lower my bass notes down just a tad. So it gives, give it some more, some more room, some more, sounds better, okay? Best way to put it, sounds better. And so now we got the pattern down right now, and I'm gonna copy this over, control B. And I'm not gonna have it repetitive in the second half, so I'm just gonna put, uh this right at the end we switched it up a little in the second half and right now i'm just going to make a top line melody and uh i'm going to add a little bit of strumming in there and i might just move all these uh bottom chords up an octave as well And I always like to play with the sounds to see if it sounds right, so. As I misclicked like five notes right there. Sounds beautiful just like that. Okay, kind of got a little ahead of myself, but uh, basically just strum these two and I have it in one six step just so I can like be more versatile and uh, have more control over it. Okay, definitely gonna have to add something right here. Okay, maybe Okay, that sounds that sounds kind of nice. Sounds kind of bouncy, you know. Actually, I don't like that at all. <laughs> but I just figured out. Maybe down one. Then at the second half, maybe slow it down just a tad, but add a strum at the end. Ooh, I'm I'm thinking something right here. Boom, boom. That might sound good. I might add a chord right there just to make it a little bit more brighter. There it goes. Perfect. Sometimes you just put random shit in the beat and sometimes it works. Okay, I think that sounds good so far. Also, bro, I'm making a loop kit. This might be on the loop kit. I don't know yet. I don't know if it's up to my standards of the loop kit. But if you want to see it in the loop kit, let me know. If not, you can just copy and paste everything I just did. Actually, don't do that. That's fucked up. That sounds so beautiful. Oh, my God. <sighs> I'm about to orgasm. Okay, so we got the melody done. I would strum out the chords, but I really like this sound right now. I don't want to... 
I want to don't want to do. I mean, it's not doing too much, but I, I like where it is. Uh, that fuck it. We're just gonna strum it. All right. Why does that sound so off? It sounds horrible. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, we're just gonna leave it where it is because I tried. As you can see, I did try to strum it. Didn't work at all. So next thing we're gonna add a box. I had arcade, but then I was like. Fuck the membership, fuck the description, uh, subscription. So I'm just gonna find a one shot sound that I have and see what happens from there. Maybe something like that. But... <laughs> what the fuck? All right, I'm just gonna hold this down so I can control where I want it at. Okay, that sounds beautiful. I'm just gonna mix the box up because, you know, it hurts my fucking eardrums. Alright, so now we're gonna get into the drums. Uh, I'm gonna add a clap, of course. You know who? Can't go wrong with the old clap, man. Can't go wrong. I'm thinking right here. Next I'm going to add is the 808s, and I'm just going to follow my uh, bass pattern right here. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, I like it like that. Then I think for it leading in the second half, I'm going to do something like that. And then just something like that at the end, just so it's not as repetitive. That's the number one thing I'm gonna try not make it repetitive. Next thing I'm gonna add is the hi hats. Definitely not two step. Definitely not going two step. I'm gonna add a roll right here. Boom, boom, boom. Damn, something's so off and I don't know what it is. I might just do a four step. Okay, perfect. I like that. Okay, I like that. All right, perfect. Next, I'm going to add the kicks. Get the kicks going, you know what I'm saying? I need like a hard kick, bro. I'm just gonna fill in the pattern right now. Okay, I'm gonna try to find a harder kick, but I like that uh, pattern. All right, you see the base of the Polo G beat. I'll play it for you guys right now. And hey, hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully you guys got an idea. Hopefully you learned something with the melody. You can always figure out the drums, bro. Figuring out the drums is probably the easiest part of any beat because it's probably the most fun. Melody is annoying as hell, frustrating as hell. Once you get it perfect, it's amazing. I was going to play this beat for you right now. Obviously not mixed to the fullest. But hey, hopefully you got an idea. Play it for you guys right now. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something, of course. That's what I shoot for every time. Pretty pretty simple, you know? Pretty simple with the chords, the BPM high, of course. So once again, hopefully you learned something. But with all that being said, subscribe, like, peace out.